Capricorn, I hope you are doing amazing. Please excuse me, Cap. Sagittarius energy was too much. So we're, 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 we're using a bit of Palo Santo. We're saging that energy out before we start your reading. Capricorn, I hope you are doing amazing. Thank you for being here. Thank you to everybody who has sent me healing vibes um, of late. I am feeling a lot better. I'm getting back to myself, albeit not 100%. But I'm kind of like, my movement is coming back slowly. I've got my nice little heat pad on. Um, and I'm supporting my back how I can. Thank you to everybody who's reached out to send me some good vibes. I hope you are doing amazing. Just clearing the energy. Oh, if you have Sagittarius in your chart, go and check out that reading. Because my goodness, my goodness, I'm telling you, it was not pretty. It's not, it was not. I'm just going to open this window as well. Oh, not pretty energy at all whatsoever. Okay. I hope you are doing amazing, Capricorn. I hope you are feeling good. Um, this is going to be a whatever comes out type of reading, freestyle. We're going to be taking a look at what spirit wants you to know, what spirit wants you to bring, wants to bring to your attention at this time. Um, if this does not resonate, please check out your other readings, your other um, placements as well. You may find that you could have more messages in those readings for you. Um, Thank you for being here. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, I'm very grateful to have your presence with me. Um, thank you to everybody, again, who has commented, liked, shared, subscribed, everything in between. Please like the video, share the video if you feel drawn to do so. I very much appreciate you all. Tell me about Capricorn, please, Spirit. Thank you. Capricorn, what is going on for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? We're going to be pulling a six card spread, doing some clarifiers if we need to, and seeing what Spirit wants you to know. Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Capricorn needs to know at this time. What does Capricorn need to be aware of? Tell me about Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn, please. And thank you. Tell me about Capricorn. Messages for the sign of Cap. Thank you. Knight of Cups in the reverse. The King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Is someone married here? Two of Wands. Somebody could be married. Somebody could have a connection. This could be a feminine energy or a masculine. Somebody's got a whole committed situation here with that Queen of Pentacles. Sorry, King of Pentacles. It's a feminine on this, 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 these depictions. It's all feminine energies. This could be a feminine you're dealing with, or this, this could be a masculine energy. But with the Knight of Cups, I feel like somebody is gaslighting or love bombing or something here capricorn somebody could be doing this to you you could be the married person in a committed situation and someone is is out here manipulating other people or talking to other people here but telling them things that are not going to come into fruition this is a person who is kind of um giving false hope to someone else Two of Wands, they definitely have two pathways that they're dealing with. This could be a water sign or a uh, another Capricorn. The Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who could be acting single. They could have acted single with you, Capricorn. This is more so what I'm getting. I mean, put yourself where you go. But I'm picking up on three of wands. I'm picking up on um, someone doing this to you. They're in a committed situation, but they're acting single and they're coming through with some sort of false promises. It could be love bombing, laying, laying it on thick because...
they they like what they see in you you could be very stable very affluent is what i'm getting you could hold yourself with a lot of grace you could dress nice you could like to um keep yourself together very well you know you could like nice things i mean who doesn't like nice things but you, there's something about you taking care of your appearance in a very big way you could like to shop you could just like to, you like to dress up, you like to look nice. There's something about your appearance that they're very attracted to. Could be the fact that you're, you've got it on your own and you're very independent, but this person's attached to something else. Three of Wands. Oh, what flipped over? Something's the other way. Let's see what this is. The King of Swords. You What you can't see is you're being manipulated or someone's not telling the truth about a commitment, ten of cups. You could be waiting for this person to come through or to bring forth some sort of meat to the potatoes that they've been laying on the plates. But there's a reason as to why they're held back here. This person's committed. Let's see, two of pentacles and the king of cups. This is someone who has got a whole situation. This is somebody who is juggling you and i do believe you're being juggled because i do think you're this nine of pentacles energy capricorn i don't believe you are the one that this person is married to or committed to if this person's not married they have a, a home a commitment with another person here a spouse someone who they 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 have children with or some sort of long-standing commitment with but with the King of Cups, this person is dropping game on you with the Two of Pentacles. They're juggling. They're cheating on their partner. Whoever they're with, they're not faithful. This is somebody who has a wandering eye. This is someone who's in a committed situation, but they play the field with the Knight of Cups. They give a lot of people false promises, knowing that they have no intention. Nine of Cups, a very entitled, greedy person who you're dealing with, self-indulgent. This is somebody who wants to have their cake and eat it too. The death card could be a Scorpio, the wheel of fortune. For some of you, you've already put an end to this and you've moved yourself forward. This could be something that's happened in the past or this could be something that you need to be aware of now. But this person's a very selfish, self-indulgent person. This is the type of person who will keep something going with, with, with a spouse, a wife, whoever this is. And they have no intention of investing because they're committed elsewhere. The lovers is in the reverse. This is someone who drops false promises like it's 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 a hot dinner. No intention of committing because they're committed elsewhere. Tell me about this Knight of Cups in the reverse. There's a lot of cards that just came out there. The Justice in the reverse. This is someone who lacks morals. They're lying. They don't care. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. They have no intention of working on this at all whatsoever. Could be a Libra. And with the Empress, this is somebody who could have a, a could be a father, could be a um a mother, could be somebody with children. They have no intention of putting in any work with you, Capricorn, because this person has another person here. I feel like you're very much again, I'm getting that very fruitful energy. You stand in your power. A lot of you are very abundant. You're definitely very independent. You could have a lot of resources about you that this person is attracted to. It's like, you know, seeing something in the in the store and being so compelled by that lovely, shiny thing that's in the store. And, and I'm, I don't mean to objectify you or to make you seem like a possession, but it's just the analogy I'm getting. You see something really nice in the shop, you know, and you want you need that thing. You can't pass that thing by despite having loads of them at home or having the same thing at home just in a different package you know something like that this is what i'm getting with the justices in, in the reverse and the eight of pentacles this person has no intention of leaving the situation that they're in this person only wants to stroke their ego and fulfill some something in them it's a very self-indulgent person chariot in the reverse there's no intention of moving forward with the side person Whoever this side person is, if this is you, and I'm strongly getting this is you, someone playing the field, playing you while they've got someone else. 
they're love bombing you or telling you what they want to you want to hear but they have no intention of working on this at all whatsoever three of swords in the reverse i feel like you're going to be just fine i feel like you are going to be just fine or you could have already have got over this Talk, put yourself in the timeline where you go this is something you've already got over or you will ten of swords is in the reverse if this person you if if something was uncovered about this person or revealed I do see you, yeah, the high priestess is in the reverse. This is something that you may have found out already. I feel like you're going to be fine. You're going to get over this. I, I don't actually feel you're that cut up over this now. If you were, then that's changed. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles, the Strength card, the Page of Cups. This is somebody who could have children with somebody else. This is somebody who may get bored easily. They get bored. So they find other ways of exciting themselves. So in whatever committed situation that they're in, they could be bored of that person. The Five of Cups. The Four of Swords in the reverse. This is someone who, King of Cups in the reverse. No, this is a manipulative person. This is somebody who, who it's like... It's like they're not satisfied with anything. They get bored very easily. So committed situation, although they're a part of one here, it's like, why are you? Ten of Pentacles, again, this person's committed. Although they're committed, they have a whole family here. It's like nothing's good enough. You know, it's, it's not good enough. This is a person who is always feeling as though something else is missing or they're missing out on something else. This is some, This is that person. They're committed elsewhere, whoever this is. The star card. The ace of pentacles. This is somebody who views you as a very affluent person. They view you as somebody who's got a lot of good qualities about you. You're very stable. When they think about you, whoever this is, with the ten of wands in the reverse, you've definitely dropped this burden. I feel like you've dropped this baggage where it's at. You know, you're not taking that baggage away with you. With the nine of wands, you're taking the lesson, the experience, and you're elevating with the Hierophant card and the queen of wands. You're definitely standing in your power. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries, or Aquarius, as well, a Scorpio, potentially, as well. Could be any sign, Earth sign. Um, whoever this is, they definitely view you in your power. They know what's in front of them when they look at you, you know. If if this person wasn't committed, I very much feel like this person will be um, wanting to give you something stable. But again, I worry about this person because they get bored. This is a person who kind of, they want their cake and they want to eat it too. It's like they don't know where they want to be. They don't know if they want the committed situation, but yet they're in a committed situation. Possibly they're staying there for children or monetary reasons as well. Somebody could be looking after them. They could have children, which is forcing them to stay there, but their mind is not actually there. Their, their, their willpower to stay is not actually there. With the strength in the reverse, this is a person who lacks will to stay committed. This is an unfaithful person, somebody who cheats on their person, their wife, their husband, whoever this is. King of Pentacles, two of wands. Yeah, this is somebody who, who's always looking for something else. They're at a crossroads. You know, how can you be at a crossroads when you have a committed situation? This is someone who, again... They have one thing, but it doesn't, it's not satisfying them. They don't, they're not satisfied with whatever it is that they've got going on. They're not. King of Pentacles, this definitely could be someone married. King and Queen of Pentacles. But they're not satisfied in the connection that they're in because they get bored. They like excitement. Two of Pentacles. King of Wands, the Knight of Swords. This is someone who gives in to their impulses. This could be somebody with a wandering eye and they act on it. With that Knight of Swords... They do a lot of things led by passion. This is someone who juggles. This is somebody who has a wandering eye. They see candy in the candy store and they have to eat the candy. That's like, you know, that 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 um, video, that that um, challenge that people were doing with their children like a couple years ago, like to put candy on the table to film the, the reaction of the child and tell the child, don't eat the candy. 
Don't eat the candy. You wait until I come back to eat the candy. Two of Cups. Wait. Wait for me to come back to eat the candy. And that, that whole, that, I don't know why that video just came into my mind. And the reaction that, you know, loads of kids doing this, this parents doing this challenge with their children. And a lot of kids can't help but eat the candy. There's candy in front of me. The candy is sweet and good and nice and it looks good. I want to eat the candy. This could be literally each to their own. I'm not mad. Don't eat the candy. This is a person who tells themselves. Don't eat the candy. Don't eat the candy. You're committed. You're committed. Don't eat the candy. But they can't help but eat the candy. This is who this is. Ah, oh my. Three of cups. They can't help it. They can't help it. Whatever they've got going on, they can't help it. Involving other people. Three of cups. This is a person who cannot keep it to themselves. They can't keep their... 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 Their their genitalia to themselves they can't they can't they're committed but it's it's a it's a facade they're staying there for not because they want to be there this is a person who's in a commitment that doesn't want to be there i want to know what's good for you i want to know what you've got going on seven of swords and the page of pentacles this is somebody who hasn't got anything to commit they don't have anything in them to commit to or commit with because it's consumed by whatever it is that they've got going on in their life this commitment don't eat the candy <laughs> but they eat the candy eight of cups i feel like you have walked away or you are in the process of tell me about um capricorn for a minute i forgot who i was doing nine of swords six of wands the death card, the eight of pentacles. Yeah, something has ended here in, in this situation. I feel like you've, you've, you know, stick a fork in me. I'm done is what I'm hearing. You're done with this. Nine of swords, the eight of pentacles, the six of wands. This person does view you as somebody who's very, very accomplished. I don't know what you do in your line of work or if you're, you're out there on some sort of platform or you're seen. But this is someone who you're blocking. This is someone who you don't want to be attached to anymore. With the eight of cups, the death card could be a Scorpio. I feel like you've averted your focus to your work and you're being very successful. I do feel like this person regards you as somebody who works very hard. I do feel like this person regards you as very accomplished. And this is the reason why you look so good to this person. It's like that, that thing of, if only I could, I will risk it all. I will risk it all for Capricorn. Let me risk it all for Capricorn. This is this person. The devil. They're obsessed. They're obsessed with you. That's your energy, Capricorn. Six of Wands, they're obsessed with watching you page of pentacles but they don't have nothing to invest make it make sense <sighs> make sure somebody is not trying to keep you in some sort of cycle of being the mistress or being the third party because we do have that three of cups here if they if if, if you allowed this person i don't feel like you are i feel like you very much know your value with the empress the nine of pentacles you've you're better than this and i don't mean that in an in a egotistical way you are better than this listen to the story you know you're better than this and i feel like you've walked away from this person but if if you gave this person the chance to eat that candy that 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 this person this person will be eating the candy licking the bowl i'm not it's too early i'm gonna keep it pg it's too early do not give this person the opportunity don't give them no inch to take no mile to be having you as some extra side piece of candy when they've got their own candy at home that they're not interested in. This person will lick the bowl. They will even ask for more if you allow them to. This person will willingly put you in a third party to indulge in something because they're not satisfied with what's going on in their household, in their home. This is a person who is committed and they don't want to be there. Capricorn. Concentrate on your work, your stability, your bag, your success, your schooling, your education, your flow. 
your abundance because trust me it looks good where you're at it looks amazing where you're at part of the reason why this person's attracted to you in the first place but i feel like you are putting up an energy of they can look but they cannot touch because this person will eat the candy given the opportunity they can't be trusted unfaithful from what i'm seeing they have nothing to invest and they continue to spy and watch while they have some sort of person that they're living a lie with. Ace, go and check out the meaning of the cards. Queen of Cups. They have someone who they have, who they entertain, who's in their household, who they live with, who they're committed to. But it's a lie because they're lying to themselves. They don't actually want to be there. Don't let them eat the candy. Capricorn, I love you. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, Cap, I will see you soon. Keep safe. Mwah. Love you. Bye.